Hey guys, it's up. I know it's been a really long time since I made a video, uh, and this one's going to be a pretty quick one, hopefully at least. <clears throat> um, I've had some huge changes come up, so I've done some significant downsizing. Uh, I'm just kind of shifting directions in where I'm going in life. May, you know, I was getting so caught up with the reptiles and I am actually going to school right now also and I'm just wanting to make sure I balance my time properly to make sure that I'm spending time not just in here but also with my son and my wife so I've actually downsized I want to make it a little more manageable um, and I have some things I want to show you guys some some pickups that I've had some hatchlings so on and so forth. So I'm just going to run you guys through everything that I got here. Um, first things first is I actually picked up this guy. I have not named him yet, but he is awesome. Um, picked him up from a local guy. Awesome guy. His name's Brody. Uh, I've been wanting one of these guys for a really long time. It's been on my bucket list. Uh, and now I have one. It's a male. Uh, he's a 2007. I don't know if I want to breed him yet or if I want to just keep the one as a pet. Um, he, This guy will definitely be staying as a pet. For, he's a forever pet. So, um, But I haven't decided if I want a female. Uh, let's see. Also, I'll show you this little one real quick. I'm actually going to set you down. Hold on one sec. super jumpy. Um, this is my little crested gecko, which I believe is a female. Um, but a nice little pinstripe as you can see. Super cool. Just definitely getting some size on her and I'm, I'm Getting pretty sure she's a female. There's no bulges coming in. Uh, she's getting some size. Um, a couple quick updates. There's no water bowls because I just cleaned the hatchling rack, and then tomorrow I'm actually going to come in and clean the rest. Uh, this is my pastel sugar. He's actually in shed. Still one of my favorite morphs. This guy's awesome. Excellent example. Um, this is that little itty bitty female that I produced this year. I can't tell if it's a pastel butter or if it's just a regular butter. I mean, it's got some good blushing on the head there, but she definitely has put on a lot of size. Um, this guy is my dinker project that I'm working on. This is my female sun glow. She's actually in blue. And then my male Hypo Motley, head albino. So that's my pair of boas that I'll be keeping. A um, couple updates and some things that I picked up. Let's see. This girl's putting on some good size. This is my pastel, possibly my pet. Pa she might be a pastel vanilla. My really bright pastel. But she's at about a thousand grams and she still just pops. I mean, camera does not do her justice, but you can still kind of tell. And then, female cinnamon, she's ready to go. She's actually been breeding to the male, I'll show you in a minute. Black pastel female. Just getting some good size. This girl is in shed also, but this is my stinger bee. So my entry spider. Um, things that I've shifted to, I've got more entry stuff and some... I'm really wanting to focus on 
certain projects and get some stuff done. And I'll show you the mail I'm going to use on her and a couple of my other Enchi combos. Uh, this is a really nice Enchi female. I don't know if I've ever shot a video of her before. And then this is my really nice pastel Enchi female. She's nice and full from eating yesterday. As you can tell though, she's really, really nice. Very reduced. This girl's in blue. This is my clown girl I picked up. Bumblebee girl finally putting on some size. Kingpin girl, she's about 800 grams. This girl right here, this is my pastel yellow belly. And she is looking like she's hungry again. She ate two small rats yesterday. Lemon Blast Girl. Um, and actually, the Pastel Yellow Belly female is a recent pickup. And I have a really nice male to show you guys that she's going with, that she's actually started locking with already. I'm running a little late on my season. But, uh, this guy. Banana cinnamon, I'll show you him. He's got his black flecking coming in. Um, he's only about 350 grams, in between 350 and 400. He's actually starting to breed already. He locked with my cinnamon last week. I'm hoping that I can get. All purple snakes. It's my killer bee fire. Looking awesome. Um, this guy is my entry male that I will be using for my other for my entry females. I really want to make some super entry combos. Um, he isn't the best of eaters, and he's in blue. Um, but this is an Enchi Fire. So I will be putting him to the Pastel Enchi and go for some Super Enchi Fireflies. Put him to the Enchi Spider Girl and go for Super Enchi Spiders. Um, up top I have my Leopard and then actually this little male is the one that I'm bringing my Pastel Yellow Belly Girl. Sorry about the shoddy camera work. Uh, this guy's really cool. So this is a spark spider, or a cougar is what it's called. And he is breeding my pastel yellow belly female, like I said. So hopefully, we'll get some bumblebee pumas. Which every time I say that, it reminds me of Ace Ventura. Um, but yeah, that's my... Those are my main girls here that I'm keeping. And here, up top, I'm not even gonna bother opening these. So I have two boas. I have a sunglow, sunglow, and then the hypo het call. I have my carpets, the diamond jungle jag male, the zebra female, which I'm keeping those. These two up here, I'm not 100% sure. I might just care, keep a pair of carpets and a, and a pair of boas. Um, I have a couple normal females that I'm offering up for sale. Um, this is my really dirty top, but this is my dinker female that that dinker male will be going to. And then, this is a pied girl. She's looking hungry and she ate a ton of, she ate three rats yesterday. Three smalls. And then the other ones are normals, which I will be selling. There's chunk in there. Um, but I'm really trying to just focus and keep it low in numbers, but I really want to, I make sure that my females are all single to double, double gene morphs and then go for some, some better combos. Um, with the amount of snakes that I had this past season, it was just getting to be too much work, especially with all the hatchlings I had. Luckily I did pretty well in moving all of them and... Um, that wasn't really an issue for me, but just the amount of work that it took was a lot. So, 
trying to keep it small. Um, but yeah. Oh, one last thing that I'd like to show you guys before we cut out here. So I just set this cage up out here. Turn the light off in here. Um, that female crested gecko that I have. This is the male that she will be going with, and this will be her cage. I just set this up. He is a feisty little booger. Um, but yeah, this is the Exoterra 18x18x24. 18 by 18 by I put a waterfall in there that I had in storage. Um, frog moss. Some fake plants. I'm getting some ledges to put in there. Um, the mag naturals rock ledge for a food and water dish and then a hide but then this is him right here Let's see if I can focus this oh goodness I don't know if focus. there we go this guy's really cool so he's actually not very fired up right now. When he is fired up, those dark colors are almost black. So, anyways. That little female pinstripe will be going in here with him. Um, when she's big enough. But yeah, just thought I'd shoot a quick video and we'll go out on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope everybody's having a good uh, 2015 start season start. And, uh... Comment, rate, subscribe.